We were really excited to get to work this week, but at the moment we're packing a grab bag. Tomorrow morning we're going to leave the boat. We just made it to the other side of the harbor. We're at Puerto Blanco Marina with our backpacks. All the important belongings and Lola, of course. Say hi, Lola. <clears throat> so we wanted to leave by 7.30 in the morning because uh, Monday, that's when things got crazy. So we uh, couldn't get the outboard started in time. So we just paddled. And I might go try to get it started while we're hanging out here. Yeah, so for now the plan is just to check in with people. Uh, we have a friend in town who's living right in the middle of town. He was giving us updates last night. So I think we'll send him an email. Um, just check in with our families, let them know that we're away from the marina and everything's good at the moment. So now we wait. Hey, 20 minutes ago, and, and maybe in one hour, it's very bad, very, very, very dangerous. And at the yeah, marina as yeah. well? Yeah, the marina maybe is close. Okay. It's possibly close because I've been a lot of police, the town is moving. <clears throat> Last night, 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of people in the town, Ginger. Ginger? Yeah. Very, oh. very. But very you dangerous. say it's pretty safe here, better than in the other marina. Yeah, you it's think, more better. It's more, yeah, it's more better. Because this isn't the no, land. Coming, the, the people are coming here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, then, please. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Denny. Denny, okay. Okay. Joel, thank you. Okay, then, please. All right, I'm here with Albert. He just took his bike into town like a crazy man <laughs> because it looks like you needed some beers. You got that. I had to have beer. So, uh, fill us in here. Well, what did you see? going out of town, there's like five fires set across the road. The big intersection right where the statue is. Uh -huh. Concrete, debris, trash is all in the road and it looks like maybe six or seven tires were set on fire. Okay, so just a lot of roadblocks. A lot of roadblock. It's trying to stop the equipment from coming in. But it seems calm right now. It's calm right now. Go all for right. it, guys. Go into town, have fun. All right. <laughs> Go spend some money. No, I don't think so. We're gonna play it safe. Welcome to Spindrift. This is uh, one of the three boats that's tied together. And Veronique and Bruce offered this to Michael and Lola and myself for at least tonight. They said however long we need. Okay, so what's going on here? To be fair, there's still a lot of uncertainty surrounding the situation, but we'll do our best to explain what we understand. What we know is there's a dispute over who owns parcel 1384, 
a section of land here in Luperon that involves the marina and a restaurant up on the hill. As well as many homes of Luperon natives that as you go up the hill on the left and the right. So. What began Saturday morning was a surprise bulldozing of the restaurant, um, an act of terror, if you will, by hired thugs with guns who then proceeded to ransack some of the homes up on the ridge that were owned by gringos. And people of the town got behind the gringos and made it very clear that they would not accept this and they were willing to do almost anything to stop the bulldozing. So the roadblocks and the road, that was all to stop big equipment. They were burning fires and they were demonstrating their discontent. Yeah, their anger. They weren't going to stand for this kind of treatment. Um, apparently, the family gave 15 days notice before these evictions were set to take place, but anybody that we've spoken to didn't receive that notice. I think the locals were pretty pissed. Yeah, and so the reason why Michael and I actually left the boat was because the owner of the restaurant that was bulldozed also owns this marina. It was a little bit uncertain as to what they might try to do here in the marina. We were informed that the thugs were coming back on Monday. It's a very religious country, so Sunday was a day of rest for everybody. But we heard from multiple sources that the thugs were coming back Monday morning. Mercenaries essentially were hired by the family to come in and bulldoze this restaurant. And we hear that they're coming back tomorrow. Um. Yeah, it was, it's really, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of unrest out there. We're, we're not really sure what's happening, but our plan is to pack our bags, put the dinghy in the water, and dinghy to the other side of the harbor where we're just off the land that's being fought over. Because right now we're on, we're on the land where there's some sort of dispute and the locals are st rising up because their houses are on this land. People, some of their houses on the hill that this family is wanting to take back and they're, th they're saying, well, if you just bulldoze this guy's restaurant, what's going to stop you from bulldozing our house? It's, it's kind of complicated. It goes back to 1944 and the letter that we'll post here and you can pause it to read it. Michael translated it. Might give you a, a little bit more understanding. Agrarian Reform Act in which it was parceled out and given to many, many people in order for them to do something with the land. The family hadn't developed it or was using it in any way. Now the family wants it back. Michael's all tuckered out. It's been a long day. Okay, so up here is the restaurant that had a surprise bulldozing. Things look pretty calm right now at the marina. Hello. Does that? Oh, oh no, I, I don't mean excited. to. I get really excited. A big thank you to Bruce and Veronique Duncan. Um, they saw us at the restaurant Puerto Blanco Marino early in the morning and offered us a place to stay when we were essentially backpackers. We didn't know where we were going to go or spend the night. So here was our apartment for the last couple of days.
For my birthday, we were going to take a dinghy to the blowholes and do some hiking. But it's kind of a wet ride out there. Super, super wavy, super windy. Yeah, we it would be a battle to get there. And, it, and we just moved on to the boat, so we decided what better way to celebrate. Then clean up and unpack. Boat sweet home. Boat sweet home. Mm. Yay. We're just going to go for it. This is sailing. It's just like being out on the water. <laughs> There's a little bit of risk involved. We heard more or less things might be, uh, I guess, confirmed on Friday. I think there are some legal proceedings going to happen. So maybe we'll know more at the end of the week. Yeah, but we're just going to keep our wits about us and keep on going. Clean the, ho clean the, the house up. Mm-hmm the boat, unpack, get settled, and get back to work. Happy birthday, Joel. Ah, thank you. Michael made a no-bake cheesecake from scratch, and Wendy's bar, the beach bar without a beach, threw a triple birthday bash for two others, including myself. Wachi was on the karaoke machine, and we were also celebrating Dia de Independencia. Fabulous night. And I think it's time to get back into the swing of things once Michael and I get rid of these parasites. These are the tales of Boab.